What's up peeps and welcome back to Sorel Plays. Mother's Day is approaching. I'm going to make a Mother's Day hamper. Firstly, I'm going to show you all the stuff they've got in the shops. And then I'm going to show you what I actually bought and how I'm going to make the hamper. Enjoy shopping. See you in a bit. So first stop is Home Bargains. I love all this marble stuff they've got. I love this clock. I need that in my life. Look at all these goodies they've got. All these small, tiny presents. They're the kind of things we need for our hamper, I think. Got these little compact mirrors, bubble bath fizzers, cups, candle holders, tea light holders, cream, little containers, chocolate, fudge. These little containers. Notepads, I love those pink vases. These big vases are lovely too. Mm. I love the artificial plants too. Every mum loves toiletries and toiletry bags and pyjamas. I'm also going to check in their wedding section because they might have something to decorate the baskets with. And they usually have some cute bits here. Well, I do love all of this. I'm just going to have a good look and then decide which bits I'm going to buy. I love these tea light holders. Ooh, one of these baskets might do as our hamper basket. We've got some cups, beauty stuff, eyelash pillows, compact mirrors and letter candles, and cups and flasks and bags. Mother's Day section in Asda, looking lovely. They know what mums need. Oh, look at these, little bath bombs. Wow, I love the toiletries. Look at this big one. £12, that's so cheap. It's got a lot of stuff in there. With all these little ones as well. Candles, slippers. Hmm. Yankee candles. Big sets of candles. Oh, it smells gorgeous over here. Vases with some artificial flowers in. Empty vases. £2, that's really cheap. Mum pillows, cushions, teapots, cups, pots, plants, candles, decorations, glasses. Oh, that's cute. They've got some cute teddies here. Oh my god. Love these. Oh, my god, look at this little one. Okay, I'm definitely grabbing one of these. Ooh, baskets. For any of these, you could put all your presents in one place. I think candles are always a good idea because it's not something you need to keep in your house forever. And if your mum's already got enough decorations, a candle might be just the right thing. Popuris, candles, diffusers. It smells so good over here. We've got the lettered ones as well. Ooh, these look good. Sparkly. Oh my god, I love all the colours. Look at that. Oh, I love the vases. These little candle holders. I love the sparkly ones down the bottom. Froze. We, I think we really should get a throw to put in there. A throw to throw in our hamper. Oh, look at these. They're so cute. I love the giraffe. 
Oh, that's lovely. Look at that with the flowers on it, the leaves. Lanterns. Artificial plants and glass pots. Oh, I love these. Look at them. Okay, we're in Primark now. Oh my god. Look at this! Oh. Now we are back and I've finally got a selection of things that I decided to buy and from various shops, the shops I've shown you mainly I did pop into range as well. I will do a um, video on the range, home range, in range. I'm going to show you what I got. So wire basket, £3.99 from Home Bargains. It's got these little handles as well. I do love baskets and storage boxes. They're always so useful. So if your mum likes them as well, that's where to start. Little basket from Primark, £4. It's got like this wooden thing around the sides and it's just white coated metal. The teddy from Asda for £1. I bought that. I love it. This basket is actually for me, so I'm a bit naughty, but yeah. And I know exactly what I want, so it's easy to do. But if you know your mum well enough, you will be fine with that. I bought this from Home Bargains. They are little tea light holders, 2 99 Barry M makeup palette, smoky evening looks, six ninety nine. Ted Baker perfume. This is the one I use. I've run out, so handy. I mean, this is the type of stuff my kids would be buying me anyway. So I've gone out and done it myself. This little tea light holder from Primark, beautiful. They've got this in other colours as well. £1.50, it's already got a tea light in it as well, but you can take the tea light out when it's finished and replace it, which is excellent. Look at this. I bought this from the range. It's like a diamond, slightly gold tint to it. I need a brush cleaner, so I bought myself one of these. If you hear your mum talking about something she needs, and it might be a silly thing, but she keeps saying it or she said it once, grab it. This is the Derma V10 makeup brush cleaner. I don't really wear slippers, but in the summer, I will be wearing these. Four pound, can't go wrong. Grab your mum some slippers, pajama set. These are like a silky material. They're very thin. They've got the lace on the side, so you can see a bit of skin through there. Elasticated, of course. And they are ankle flappers which I don't normally go for I like cuff pajamas but because of the style of these they're very mother's day if that makes any sense these were eight pounds for the bottoms those pajamas have got a top to go with them exactly the same material like a blouse type top lace on the sleeves buttons down the front I cannot wait to get into these Oh, and last but not least, we've got this beautiful fro. I've got a lot of gold in my room, gold and white, and I don't actually have a fro with anything interesting on it. It's just a cream or a white fro. I've got two different types. I've got a knitted fro as well, which kind of doesn't go with my room anymore. Um, and it's more for the winter, so I got myself this. Now for sorting out the hamper. Oh, hang on, before I do, before I do, I've got cellophane, so that it looks like a proper hamper. I was going to get some flower petals, they were 179 
or 279 from range they are really pretty but I didn't fancy all the mess so I gave up on that idea I bought this instead it's ribbon with leaves it's white there's all different colors there's like cream Again. in range and this was about 170 it's quite pricey for what it is because it is only a small amount I'm gonna unravel it now so we can see how big it actually is but look at that how beautiful is that I'm just gonna tie that around the top and let it drape and it is one and a half meters so it's perfect for this lovely let's get started let's make this hamper I'm gonna turn the camera so you can see the mess in my room I can't always be tidy guys I've been at work okay so now you can see to make sure mummy doesn't see any prices I already know how much they are but yeah we're gonna put the fro at the bottom the basket is rather small but I didn't want to get a huge basket because I actually know what I'm gonna be using it for so I've catered everything to my own needs here very cheekily I'm gonna drape this over the back you could leave tags on in case your mum doesn't like any of it or it doesn't fit or something at least you can take it back then give her the receipt as well drape the lacy bit down the side like so and then put this one down here leaving labels on means everything still looks new as well so this is what we've got so far and then I'm going to put these tea light holders in at an angle as they're not really going to fit in the basket but that is one of the reasons I bought the smaller basket because if you have a huge basket nothing's really going to drape over the sides and stuff unless you buy a lot more stuff so we're trying to sort of graduate heights and all that stuff oh I forgot to put the white basket in oh dear okay let's get this out again squeeze this in We'll have to do it a few times till you get the right thing going on. We've got this here. We could put Barry M here so it kind of covers that label a little bit. And then we've got the two tea light holders, one on each side. And there it is, there's our hamper. And we can actually lift this up like this. Oh. This wasn't two pound there's something stuck on there this uh fro was uh six pound by the way now we're gonna get the cellophane gonna put it on the top so what we're gonna do is get the two top ends and we're gonna lift the basket up and pull it up so that it is even i used to make hampers and sell them so i've, I've got pretty good at this eventually and you can buy little stickers to stick the cellophane together so we're just going to kind of ravel up gather the top like this so that it's all kind of in one hand like that and then we're going to get our ribbon and we're going to wrap it around the top then you need to just pull the sides around a little bit and tape those. You can buy little stickers to tape the sides with. So you can go around this a few times because we've got a lot of ribbon here. It's long enough to do that. We'll tie it once just to make sure it stays. So you can either drape it around the side like this and tie it again just until you've got it how you want it. Or you can make it go into the design at the top by opening this up. Put it in here, put a bit of tape in to stick it so you've got some at the top and some at the bottom. The other thing I used to do is stick little diamonds on. You can drape this around the front if you like. I'm going to get some tape and stick the bottom sides of it so that We don't have a massive gap on the side. 
There it is, it's done. And that is our hamper, ladies and gents. Okay, guys, that is it. That's our hamper all done. I am very pleased with that. Imagine rocking up to your mums with this on Mother's Day. I think she'd be pretty pleased, don't you? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Enjoy Mother's Day. Hopefully you find all the gifts you like. I hope the video helped you to decide what you're buying. See you on the next video. Peace out.